This is a big job. This yeah. is a big job. Yeah. And you really need to think about it. Is it worth it? This okay. right here is a lot of time, you guys. Okay, people, whatever you do, this is not a permanent fix. This is a temporary repair we're doing. Do not do this at home. Hey, do me a favor. Mm -hmm. Come and step on this for me mm -hmm. so I can hold my hand under there and feel it. Step on it. Yeah, well, all right. You want to tell us a little bit about telling the owners and them having kind of sticker shock, not believing that that the floor is rotted? This whole walkway pretty much is all shot. You can feel it. This is all just caving in right here. I mean, that's moving like three quarters of an inch. This isn't too bad right here, but this right here is what I'm talking about. Both these, that whole foot is broke free and soft. This side is totally, it's gone. It's all wet. Yep. The only thing I can figure is to do it cheap and easy would be put a big piece of aluminum under there, right under here, and just taper the edges. You know, you put a big piece like this big so it spreads out the load. It does make it a little easier to see when you start tearing that up. So you can see right here, all these lines, these dark lines, it's all cracks. So either the core swelled up and did that, somebody dropped something hard or something came up from the bottom somehow and hit it. But it's all, this is all shot. All back through here is shot. So how would you guys fix this? The right way to fix this is take this center console off and start cutting this deck out and put new deck in, which is going to be a major job, like major job. And unfortunately, the people have spent a lot of money making it look pretty. So they put all new upholstery in here. They did all these fancy seats. They repowered it. The engines, the two Mercury 300 XS Pros only have 20 hours on it. Well, they did it in reverse. You should have inspected the hall first before you start beautification because this, this is now is a game changer. I mean, we're, you could spend, I don't know, 50, 60 grand easy on this probably. I mean, taking the center console off is gonna be a chore. That's what we're trying to determine and I'm gonna to have to call them and talk with them. You know, what are we gonna do? So, so can you tell us why it's so hard to do this center console? Let's go over here, let's see. What, what makes this such a tough job? Well, you gotta disconnect all this wiring. Oh, okay, that's, that's All why, this wiring. That's why it's so hard. It has to, yeah engines the engines are all wired everything every switch all these, all these wires switches. everything's got to be disconnected then we have to unbolt this because it's bolted to the floor we have to unbolt the whole thing put a sling on it lift it up with the forklift set it off the boat we're probably going to have to remove the rocket launcher seat too i'm sure you are because it's rotten around there yeah see your feet again yeah well it's rotten right here where the you can tell we're so here if you come here you can actually feel where the captain stands all the time when they're driving right here mm -hmm. you can feel this drops down probably a good half inch right here Ooh, i can hear water squishing well the bilge is dry that doesn't mean water is inside the core so yes. it's it's like yes. this and there's so a core weird. material yeah. in here okay. and the water's all in there i don't know if you guys can see this but they originally at some point in time had somebody put a fuel tank in here and for some reason this floor panel is sticking up about half an inch and the only thing I can figure is it's the fuel tank is either too tall, you know, because the bottom of the boat curves up with the hull and it's pushing this up or the fuel tank has slid forward and pushed up on this panel. So yet again, now we have another mess we have to deal with and try to figure out. We will see how that goes. What do you think happened here? Put a comment below and let me know. Do you think the fuel tank slid forward? Do you think the fuel tank's too tall? Or what is going on? Why is this floor panel all bulged up? We're gonna set dry fit these plates on the boat. And see how it does with the deck.
So the reason we're going with this is because the owners of the boat already spent over $100,000 in beautification. How much do you think it would cost to cut the whole deck out of a boat and put it back in? So they didn't want to spend any more money, so they asked me what's a cheap temporary solution. I've seen this done before with these aluminum panels. That's what we went with. So this is corrosion resistant aluminum, 5056 T6, 3 16 inch thick. I'm going to rough up the bottom surface so that the adhesive has a better surface to grab hold of. What kind of adhesive are you using? Epoxy. Ready? So I just did this as an example for one of the guys. They'll come back and I'll have them rough these all up and get them ready to go. So I came over here to see how TJ was doing with his progress. We're trying to cover up the sides of the boat because we need to clean all this yucky adhesive off of the deck. TJ did an amazing job prepping this deck and getting all that old adhesive and stuff off of here. We're getting ready to uh, put the metal plates down. We're gonna do a couple of them today and then a couple tomorrow because once we get them in place, I don't wanna walk on them and have them shift or anything. All right, start port side. Shut it off. The only reason we're doing this is because the clients don't want to spend any more money on the boat and we're doing it for a quick repair so they can use the boat in some kind of parade or something coming up. Let's do this one first. Wipe down the bottom, right? And take the Sharpie that I threw in the bag, then take it back up and then put tape on the marker. Mm -hmm. 5200, put it down and get it in place and stand on it. Get it make sure it's all down and then move on to these side ones. I was gonna be done for today unless you think we could get the front done too. So to do the front, my thought was to unbolt. This is loose. It's gonna be really hard to slide these plates under there with 5200. So I was gonna have you guys pull these bolts right here on both sides and then take these screws out and should be able to tip this up, maybe take a board to hold it up. So then you can put the, put the uh, sheets underneath these feet. I got you. And all the wires are going through this. Probably. Yeah, I would guess. Yeah, so we might have to just leave one screw in as a pivot point. So that was my thought. What do you guys think? Yeah. All right. Then my question is this. Let's uh, go up here. Oh, Roger's feeling it with his feet right now, I can tell. Oh, so this is sagging. Because they put a new fuel tank in here. At some point, somebody did. And they didn't do a very good job from what I can tell. Should we open that up and see? I really am reluctant to open that up. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, because we're going to have to take Well, I think it stops. Oh, no, it doesn't, does it? Here, let's see this. Oh, she turns the camera on. Of course she does. Simmer down, simmer down. All right, so I got tape in there. I got squeegees. I got gloves. I got rags. We got acetone. We got tape. That's my thought. Because then what they're going to do is they're just going to cover this all with C deck. Yeah. So we're just reinforcing it. So just had a meeting with the clients on this uh, cigarette boat and <laughs> they are thrilled to death with the metal plates that we put down on the deck so far. So let's uh, go up and take a quick look. We just put some uh, 3 16 T6 aluminum down, had these pieces cut. It definitely stiffened the floor up and they're thrilled to death, even though don't do this at home. How much do you think all this aluminum panels cost? Let me know, you'll be surprised. Anyways, uh, you can see we've got it all along the walkways because this was all soft everywhere. Where they stand at the helm was soft. And now we're having a problem up here, so we're probably gonna make a plate to cover this up because this is all 
totally messed up here. You can see it's just falling in. So we're gonna probably have one more plate made for this area here. This definitely stiffened this up, that's for sure. I mean, I don't like how some of it's sticking up, but there's not a lot we can do about that because the deck is so wobbly. The customers actually can't believe how much it stiffened the deck up yeah, either. Like I said, they're very happy. Maybe we'll uh, breathe some life back into this old girl and they'll use it for a while and then hopefully they'll sell this. That's been my advice to them is to sell it. We're gonna cut another plate because there's metal left over. Okay. So first thing this morning, get a template, just I guess run it, even though this is all weak, I guess run the plate like right along here, bring it and bring it down and like that. And we'll just cover this whole thing up. All right, and then you'll be okay with that. Just... We'll have to try to screw it to that as best we can. Okay. But that's what we're gonna do is cover this up because this whole thing is all. So we tried screwing this down. Yep. Uh, there's nothing, it, it's so rotted, the screws don't. Okay, here's what I want you to out. do. Take the screws out. Yeah. Take a grinder, grind that flat a little bit. Like this? Yep. Okay. That lip, just take it right off and then seal it all good with 5200. Right. Your cardboard's too small? It's not always about size, okay? <laughs> all right. Chris is going to be trying to make us a template here for this new metal aluminum plate that we need to have built again. So what do you think? Good. I'm going to steer straight, set around here, and then I'll take this all the way. Okay, well, Chris just got done doing that template, so I'm going to take it over to Key West Welding, which is right next to our office, so that we can get this one more made, so we can get this job finished for these customers. Of course, they're anxiously awaiting their boat, so getting one more panel done up, and then we can finish up and move on with the rest of the work that we need to finish. Oh, wow. Chris put him up to the challenge to manhandle it. You know what they say about those cancers? <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, see, there you go. Nice job, Daniel. Go ahead. I guess it just twists. You got a grip on it? Go. Okay. They got the wrap put on. We're finalizing things on this project and I'm very happy about that. I'm ready for this one to be moving on. We've got the through hauls put in. We've got the hoses hooked up. We have new batteries put in. Got all these through hauls changed out. I think we're all done with those. Yep, looks like they're all done. We got these metal plates put in here. The clients are loving it. And we ended up doing one more. We did this one right here. You can still see where it's flexing, but there's, you know, this whole section is just, I don't know, the boat needs some work. But this is, uh, we put new hardware in here. This is all tight now. Yep, looking good there. The, the next thing they'll have the sea deck guys come. That's what this is, piece of sea deck was on a hatch, probably that one right there. We'll have them come back and uh, do that. The good thing is there's different thicknesses of C-deck so that they can make up for the thickness of these metal plates by using a thicker piece like here. Clients are thrilled to death so far and I'm pretty excited to get rid of this thing. I am hoping that they maybe use it for a little while and then sell it, we'll see. I do have a question for you though. Can you guys tell what that is? This is a little over the top for me. It's a husband and wife. The lady picked this out, which blows me away. I wouldn't expect that from a lady, especially like a, I think she's probably in her mid fifties and that's what she wanted. But she is a feisty thing. She's a pretty cool lady though. We dropped the, uh, the front part and the wench and everything down so we could have space to put the keel guard on. We lifted the trailer up with a forklift. Usually we would have just used the, the actual lift here, but it doesn't have a handle or anything on it. So lifted it up with a forklift. Once we got it lifted up enough, we just put another stand, a little pallet stand with some sand there just to support the keel. So then when we dropped the trailer back down, it took the weight off of the front bunks. The two front bunks were in the way of the keel guard. So we had to loosen those up, drop them, and slide them out of the way. So then yesterday I came here, prepped the bottom by scuffing it and then putting the primer on for the keel guard and then applied the keel guard. I put one section up here. So this way when they're coming up on the trailer, if this ever rubs up against here, doesn't mess up the keel. And then the keel guard runs from here all the way back to about right there. Now that it's on, now we just gotta put the trailer back together so we can get the boat ready and get it on its way.